evening, Lisa. Good evening, Andrew. Well, well, well. Haven't I been a busy bee? You have. <laughs> a busy bee? Bzzz. Arthur Askey, he was a busy bee. Yes. Yeah. Hmm. That's all right. It's nothing to do with Arthur Askey. Arpa? Up, 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 Askey. Good old Arthur Askey, he were good. <laughs> Didn't you like him? He were a good boy, wasn't he? he? He used to be a bee and he used to go up and down on the stage. Okay. Can we get back on to that? Was a bit, that, that went weird. That was random, yeah. Episode 28. Eight, thank you. <laughs> of Round the Archives. <laughs> Has been released. It's now available in mm-hmm. all the usual places. Yes. Which would be SoundCloud and Claire FM and iTunes, iTunes and all that jazz. Mm hmm. Um, as I think we've probably said in various other places, episodes mm-hmm. 28 and 29, which we're about to start working mm-hmm. on, finally, uh, form a two-part release. I don't know why you say finally. It's only two days since you released 28. Well, I know. but That's hardly finally. But yes, a two-part release in which we look at shows from the good old US of A. Mm-hmm. So, uh, we... I've got two articles on episode 28, both yes. fairly sizable ones. Yes. And we're going to have three articles on... 29. On 29. Yes. So effectively, the running time will be about normal for an episode. Yes. It might be a bit over. Yes, it might be a little bit longer for 29, because yeah. yeah, yeah. there are three articles. Depends how much we talk about yeah. in our articles. But 28 sees Martin mm-hmm. looking at Murder, She Wrote. Mm-hmm. Uh, the first episode... What are you doing? I'm waving at Jessica Fletcher. <laughs> She's waving from the sofa. <laughs> well, Martin says in his article yes. that she's waving yes. from the shore. But you're supposed to do that to the theme of Murder, She Wrote, not she's walking in the air. Oh, she's waving walking. from the sofa. Do, 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 do. There's a lot of singing in this do, one. Do. I apologise for that fact. I'm not even on the air, which is worrying, <laughs> isn't it? Yes. Uh, Rose is trying to get through the door now. Can you open the door for the dark well, she cat? she wants to come. Come on, oh, sorry, Rose. She'll come up. Rose. <laughs> what, was I ta- what was I talking about? Oh, Murder, She Wrote. That's right. right. <laughs> um, so, I don't really know Murder, She Wrote. Well, you've seen enough of it when I've, I've watched it. Well, yeah, but it's never really sunk in. Okay. Um, but you've seen, a, seen a fair bit of pieces, it. I've seen yes. yes. I haven't seen all of it. One day I will buy the box set. Mm. Um, I was going to buy the box set, but I've decided to buy something else instead, which is for a future edition. Yes. Of but you had one the on the other day with John Astin, yes. in, didn't you? Yes. We shouting. Just, yes, we just ended up laughing every time he appeared because he was just shouting and pulling faces and doing the boggly eyed thing. He, or was he some sort of. He was a sheriff. A sheriff with, sheriff. A, with a big hat on. With a hat. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, we haven't actually got any official release of Murder no. She Wrote. Have you, no. You've sort of. I'm denied about yeah, it. Haven't yeah, yeah. I mean, you can get the complete box set on Amazon for just under fifty pounds, mm. which I will get. And I was to say I was going to get it, but then I've decided to get this other thing, so it'll have to go on back burner for a little while. Oh, right, okay. But yeah, I, I yeah, it, it's probably I think it's the longest article that Martin mm-hmm. has done, and I found mm-hmm. it really interesting of the sort of the depth it went into, mm-hmm. because as I've said before people are now starting to do shows that mm-hmm. I don't really know. Yeah, so excuse me so, a minute, I have oh, to lean forward and let Rose... has got a head track. got a head through. Come on then. But the rest of her is slightly wider than her head, isn't there it? There we are, she's through. Um, but yes, uh, so certainly Martin's work on The Blue Lamp last mm-hmm. time, and he's one about Maelstrom, yes. and some other things that are coming up. Yeah. Uh, are again shows that I know of, but mm-hmm. really don't know the Enough about. the detail. Yeah. So I like to learn. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm sort of listening to it in the edit and sort of you know going, oh right, okay, mm-hmm. <laughs> didn't know that. Um, so yeah, that's 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 the first thing, and mm-hmm. then the second piece is mm-hmm. is us. Yes. Um, looking at here it is. Ooh. Da, 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 da. Because that, because I'm holding it up like that, mm. um, and the image is flipped, right? You see mm. that, Lisa? Well, I can't see Look that. Look at forward. It doesn't say Star Trek, does it? No, no it says Kurt Ratz. Kurt Ratz. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Kurt Ratz? I don't know. He's some seedy actor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's some, some sort of Terry Nation character. He does sound like Terry Nation character. Yes. Yes. 
<laughs> Kurt Ratz has come. He, be, he wishes to see you. He'd be friends with Avon, wouldn't he? Yeah. He'd wear leather. <laughs> distracted me there. Yeah. Um, yes, so the plan was that mm-hmm. it would be you, me and Warren yes. looking at Star mm-hmm. Trek. Unfortunately, due to circumstances beyond... Warren's control. Yes, he couldn't come. He couldn't come on Saturday. He, he was waiting for somebody to come, and they didn't come. No. And so it was a bit of a wasted if day. If Warren wants to explain that later, he can. He can. Yes, but, but it, uh, was, it, was a, it was a home-based emergency, yes. shall we say. Yes. Uh, but yeah, so we're doing Wolf in the Fold. Wolf in the Fold, Aren't yes. we? Mm-hmm. Um, which links, sort of, with mm-hmm. our previous Jack the Ripper stuff. Yes, it does. Except it gives us the really weird situation mm. in which Jack the Ripper is played by the same actor who plays Piglet. Yes, <laughs> yes. And the the thought that Piglet was also Jack the Ripper it's, is it's a very weird funny, one. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I know I'm not the biggest fan of the Disney version of, no. of, 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 of uh, Winnie the Pooh, but I think... I think I might be going a little bit that's far. That's going a bit far, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but as we say in the piece, you... You're not that bothered about original Star Trek, are you? No, no. When I watch, I mean, I didn't mind this this episode at all. Mm. I quite enjoyed this episode. Yeah. I mean, there are aspe- aspects of the episode that did make me roll my eyes a bit. Yeah. Um, the costumes. Yeah. For one. Okay. The Kirk managed to keep his shirt on the whole time, which yeah. is amazing. <laughs> and it was cold. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, but I didn't mind this one. I, some. Star Trek original series episodes are harder to watch than others. Mm. This was okay. I could have had a bit more of Mr. Spock. Yeah. Really. I mean, this is the sort of midpoint of the series, Mm. pretty much, isn't it? Yeah. Um, So, the first few sort of episodes, if you watch them in transmission order or if you watch them in production order, they haven't quite nailed it down yet. Mm -hmm. So, even things like costumes... Mm. um, I haven't even quite worked out what all the colours are for everybody. Okay. Because, uh, mm. um, yes, if you look at um, the various pilots, mm. um, various sort of sections and various people mm. um, aren't quite the same as they are a few weeks no. later. And it's very colourful. You said mm. that, didn't you? It's very colourful. Yeah. Um, they were really... American television's had colour for quite a long while by this point, haven't they? Must be... A little while, yeah. Nearly I ten don't, years. I don't, I'm not sure I'd need to check. Um... So, but they, yeah, they're still putting lots of colour in it to show off the colour television yeah. cameras, which must have been very confusing when you watched it in black and white. Well, that's the thing. The I think Star Trek comes on BBC One just after the War Games finishes in 1969. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, BBC One, yeah, is not quite in colour at that no. point. And you've still got the silly thing that, People think colour happened overnight on mm-hmm. BBC One, and it doesn't. No, it's it's a gradual process, isn't it? Because you, you've, you've seen that tape of um, continuity from 1969. Yeah, yeah. It, even in sort of 1970-71, there's still programmes that are not in colour. It depends what studios they're made in, yeah. yeah so, um, you know, and, and now on BBC One in colour, Z Cars, which is in black and white. Yeah, which is really <laughs> odd. That you would still be making programmes in black and white when you're doing colour television. Yeah, but that's the thing. It wasn't like everybody threw a big switch. No. That they had to throw lots of switches over yeah. a period of time in various studios. And yeah. lots of people at home would have still been watching in black and white anyway. Yeah. I mean, my... I don't know if I've said this before, but my nan had yeah. a black and white television until she couldn't live on her own anymore yeah. and she came to live with us. And that was in the early 90s. Because you could still get a black and white, you could still get a black and white television license now, actually. Well, didn't she rent it? She rented it. It was cheaper to rent, and obviously the television license was cheaper. Yeah, but you said when when she yeah when she moved into in with us yeah they, they, they sort didn't of want it they back. didn't want it back <laughs> they were like no no we don't want it we can't do anything with it I think my dad actually took it to because it was rented with um, Granada yeah he, I think he took it and just left it in the doorway no right. okay. of the closed it shop just ran away and ran away. <laughs> Fly tipping. Yeah. That's not good. Well, no, it, it was in the doorway of the shop. It was like their shop. <laughs> they were just shut. <laughs> okay. It's like leaving bags in front of a charity shop. Yeah. People mm. do it all the time. You're not supposed to, but they do. Anyway, back to Star Trek. Yeah, um, yeah it's it's a bit of a weird one with the the, the whole plot, mm-hmm. I think. It's quite 
strange. Yeah. But and had, had, did you sort of know where it was going? I but, had read it, but I couldn't remember. I'd read the synopsis of yeah. it, but when I came to watch it, I couldn't remember who the murderer was, if it oh, was right. who the murderer is or the other guy, the okay. person in it, yeah. the other male character. Yeah. So, until a certain point. Um, but it is, it's interesting that that's a plot that they continue to do mm. in the various Star Trek series that will follow. Okay. Because... I can't remember in Next Generation, but they definitely do it in um, Star Trek Voyager. Well, he comes back. Not he? Jack the Ripper, but oh. they have a member of crew oh, accused, accused of murder, of murder. Oh, right, and okay. they have to prove yeah. that they didn't do it. Oh, right. And the one in Star Trek Voyager sticks in my mind because it's um, I can't remember what the character's name is now, but he's until he's he's he doesn't have to be proved to be guilty. He's found to be guilty and has to be proved innocent. Well, that's keys of barrenness. Yeah. And until he can be proved to be innocent, he yeah. relives the murder every hour, oh, right. which will kill him. Yeah. Because yes, yeah, it's, it's a humble always good, but yeah, it's quite an early one. Yeah. So. But yeah, so a shorter episode from our point of view. Yes. The normal, but the next mm-hmm. one will be along Shortly. quicker than normal. Yes. Yes. And so. we've done some research today for it. Yeah. yeah. So I think we we. we well, we've sort of said. We've sort we? of said, so we might yeah. as well announce what we're well, doing. Well, we announced on Paul's show last yes, night that what Paul yes. was doing. So yes. Paul is doing Dark Shadows. He is. And we have been spending the last few weeks watching a fair old bit of the Adams Family and the Monsters. And Monsters yes. So we've sort of accidentally ended up with a episode twenty nine being sort of horror stroke gothic. Um, yeah, comedy stroke. Well, mm. you can't really say Dark Shadows is a comedy, but no. soap I would opera. say yeah. supernatural. Yeah. Yes. All right. Okay. Yes. yes. We we just have a couple more bits to do before we record the article article on the monsters. Yeah. Um, because I'm going to submit subject you to an episode of the monsters today. Okay. To see mm. what it's like, and I, I think I know what it's like because I've seen a little bit of it. Um, and I'm not going to say any more than that. Okay. And. I, I should show you the film, the Adams Family films as well. Oh, right, Not the okay. whole thing, just the sort of how yeah. they're filmed. Well, we did Monster Go Home. We did didn't do Monster Go Home. Yeah. Oh God, that was. Um, <laughs> it starts not, off promisingly. It starts off promisingly, and then there's a car chase that goes on for goes far on too for long. Ti- far too long. You think the car chase in Planet of Spiders is too long? <laughs> this is about three times the length. Oh, it of feels lives. like it. Yeah, it just know. feels like it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah um, and also, we, we just for to look to see what Fred Fred Gwynn does and what Al Lewis does before they do the monsters. We're going to have a look at another episode of Car Fifty Four. Oh, right. yeah, I, I didn't did. mind the one we saw. That that was so, all right. Because the one we saw only had, only had a little bit of Al Lewis in it. Yeah, and I want to see a bit need, more. Need Al Lewis. one with more in. All right, yeah. okay. Interesting. So. But there you are, episode twenty-eight. Mm-hmm. Now available, yes. and uh, I think we're fairly happy with it. Aren't yes. We? So yes, twenty-nine will be. Along fairly shortly. Yes, it might even be up by the end of November, you never know. All right, okay. <laughs> we shall see. All right, we'll say good night, yes. except we're probably going to record something else a bit we're later, to, aren't yes, we? Yes, we have to look at... Um, but we'll upload that else. later. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye.